Hi there, this is Judith Durham, and you're listening to Peter Hale. other seekers still listen to that very early stuff your georgie girls and that uh, do you still enjoy that uh, look i do more than i i didn't listen to it for many years actually funnily enough in the interim years when i wasn't with the group because obviously it was like 25 years actually that we were all apart and um my musical tastes took me into so many different areas that i just didn't really sit down and listen to the records and when i came back to listening to them which would have been perhaps oh, about the mid 80s i suppose it, it was quite interesting to listen to them as if I was somebody else and sort of an outsider. And I started to truly appreciate the uniqueness of the blend of our voices and the way we approached the music. I was sort of able to have the benefit of all the comments that the fans had made to me through the years of how much they love it and what it means to them. And I think really that's helped me really put the Seekers in a, in a different perspective.
respect from our fans all through the years we certainly had a lot of teenage girl fans there's no doubt but then we had fans of all genres even as today we do um so it was more of a very respectful friendly family oriented sort of fan following and and uh I feel personally very grateful for that. I think it uh, it helped us keep our feet on the ground as well, and we were we were enabled to go through our career um, very much as normal people who are just privileged people, and and who whose daily life, um, you know, we we sort of go around the world finding friends everywhere, just instant friends, and it's just such an amazing experience to have that. Yeah, I heard uh, Paul McCartney the other night, he was talking about the days of the Beatles and they have a different sort of fan, of course, but um, they couldn't hear what they were singing. They'd just sort of stand there and come out these cheap uh, PA speakers and that. But um, I, it, it have its drawbacks, I think, having fans, for sure. But um, no, your, yours was obviously uh, more conservative. And uh, yes, very much so. I mean, very normal people like us. You know, this is what was always so amazing, that um, even now, you know, when we meet our fans, they're just... Um, wonderful people you know with stories the same as ours and our songs have interrelated into their lives but i feel quite sorry for the beatles when i hear those stories like paul mccartney was saying yeah you know you do feel quite sorry for them because i mean they were musicians that was what those are first and foremost Mm. um and of course it, it does seem to swing the scales in a completely opposite direction the adulation becoming the the main focal point a bit like tom jones with the knickers being thrown at him you know yeah. <laughs> where that ends up being what people talk about as much or if not more sometimes than, than the actual musicianship you have strong beliefs in uh, religion that's well definitely you know jesus christ being the son of god and and coming to earth to um teach us all and um you know i do have very very strong beliefs that that God never deserts us. He, we are all, we are always given the means of of merging with God and becoming part of Him. So that's the important thing. And and of course to keep our spirits uplifted and to keep focused on the fact that the suffering in this world is not what we're meant to um, have to tolerate for eternity. That's not really what it's all about at all. So that's one of the reasons I love to try to uplift people through music. Goodbye, my own true lover, as we sing a love song, how it breaks my heart to leave you, now the carnival is gone, 
his music because it does have that incredible family appeal. From what you just said, uh, Judith, as yourself, uh, Athol, Keith and Bruce, do you guys do things individually as well? Yes, we do. We're all very busy people, actually. I write a lot of songs, very, very prolific and and active in doing all sorts of different compositions. But uh, Bruce is always into his writing. Keith's into writing and publishing. He lives over in Perth, of course, and does some performing in his own right. In fact, Bruce does some performing in his own right as well. Um, and Athol's involved... Uh, he's got some horses, he's got a farm, but he's also um, got the bed and breakfast going with the little gallery out there at uh, West Rock Farm that he runs with his family and and other people. So he's very, very busy as well because we don't tour anymore and, uh, you know, we're not really ongoingly active as a group on a sort of permanent basis. No, the the, the uh, popularity's never waned, actually. In 93, there was the Silver Jubilee reunion. That attracted, I think it was 110,000 people I saw um, mm-hmm. listed. But that, was, that would have been a great reassurance to all of you. Just unbelievable, you know, the, the support. And, and to, to meet up with fans who'd been introduced to the music by one means or another long since we'd had our break-up in the 60s, I think that was just a fabulous... Um, you know, realisation for all of us that the music is just going to live on and on. Uh, Judith Durham talking with me this afternoon. And uh, Judith, just to finish off, can I ask you about your favourite time with the Seekers since the 60s inclusive sort of thing? What would you single out? Well, I think... Oh, golly. I mean, we had some very exciting times in the 60s, obviously. But as a person, I didn't feel... I wasn't mature and I had a lot of conflict within me. I was very worried about my weight. I was always worried about what other people thought. So I didn't really allow myself to enjoy those moments to the fullest. And I didn't have the gratitude in my heart for what was what we were receiving from everyone. So I truly believe... For me now that I have the most rewarding experiences when I'm with the Seekers. I feel I've, I've been given the chance now to get it into the perspective of what it means to the fans and the public, the fact the four of us can still perform and record together like this. And that, that has been a very rounding out and fulfilling um, a sort of result of us having had our reunion. So I, I, I think really for me, living in the now, is, you know, as they express it, I'm a much happier person and, and feel I have a role in life to play and it's a very lovely feeling for me. So thanks so much for the chat, Peter. It's been just lovely talking to you. Don't try, or is it the clothes you wear? You're always window shopping, but never stopping to buy. So shed those downy feathers and fly a little bit. Hey there, Georgie girl, there's another Georgie deep inside. Bring out all the love you hide, and oh, what a change that be. Georgie, go!